we you've you've said this in previous episodes that there's sort of an an opening in the center and the center right of canada uh uh you know uh for the federal conservatives potentially uh and we saw just recently with the ontario election a very uh pragmatic conservative approach really paid off with uh doug ford's progressive conservatives um alberta is an interesting case i mean when you when you compare uh doug ford to uh outgoing alberta premier jason kenney very two very different approaches to conservatism and uh we saw what happened with kenny recently with that leadership review yeah absolutely you know, th think of it this way michael you know for, what do we call it ford version 1.0 when he first ran Mm. I think for average Ontarians and Canadians, they would have said that he's cut from the same mold as his brother, part of the Ford Nation, very populist, very uh, vocal, uh, very proactive, uh, very good at, at, at retail mm -hmm. politics. And, and you know what? People would have, I'll just say Jason Kenney 1.0 would have been kind of similar, right? Social conservative, populist, very good on retail uh, politics. We have two of them leading Canada's among Canada's most important provinces, Alberta and uh, and Ontario, and uh, but it's kind of like Jason Kenney got stuck at version 1.0 and just mm -hmm. got crushed right mm -hmm. during the course of the pandemic. He seemed a little more ideological, seemed a little more rigid and stubborn, and as as a result, uh, kind of uh, annoyed and aggravated not just people outside of the party but people within his own party, and and as a result, you know that leadership vote where he only had about 51 or 52 percent which just must have been a crushing number uh knowing that he couldn't couldn't stay on in contrast ford went from version 1.0 which was similar to kenny to version 2.0 which is hello my name is doug ford right if you don't mm -hmm. get vaccinated and you're in my caucus you're out and uh oh the liberals want to subsidize ten dollar a day daycare we'll take that and also what I'll say, a certain level of, uh, of, of pragmatism that I think had a significant level of appeal to a number of Ontarian voters, which is why he won his second mandate. So to your point, Kenny and Ford is a study in contrast hmm. and what works right now. And you know, the reality is, is that if you're a conservative hopeful for the federal leadership, you should probably be learning from both of those examples uh especially when it comes to voters in ontario and you know what uh michael and sorry for our our listeners and uh, viewers from across the country ontario is one of the big prizes it's not the big prize but it's mm -hmm. one of the big prizes for the conservatives how about this they can't win an election federally without doing well in ontario mm -hmm. period full stop so the question is which strategy is more likely to appeal in ontario and i'm saying right now it's ford version 1.0 uh, 2.0 as the strategy that's most likely to resonate and engage Ontario voters.